Hey everyone, welcome back. So in the last video I covered how to use post requests and delete requests in Flask Restless. In today's video, which will be a short video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use put requests. So in Flask Restless, put and patch are equivalent, so you can use one or the other or both. I prefer to use put for updating something in a RESTful API, but if you prefer, you can use patch. So I already put put here in the list of methods. So first, let me go to my uh, table in the database to show you what I have. So from yesterday's video, I still have three rows in this person table, and I'm going to use the put method to update it. So first, uh, let me switch the method here. So put, and I don't have a person four anymore because I deleted it yesterday. So instead I'm going to use person number three. I think I have that one now. So I'll use person number two. And like a post request, it requires a JSON object representing what you want to update. So let me change the type here to JSON and let me build a JSON object. So the only thing you have to do with the JSON object is specify the key that you want to update, which maps to a column in the database. And then you give a value that you want the uh, row in the database to be updated to. So in this case, I want to update the name. So at the moment, the name is Cindy for the ID of two. I want to change Cindy to Rebecca. So I'm going to call a put request at this API. So I'm specifying the second ID and here's the data that I'm going to use to update. So let me send, and let's see what happens. All right. So it returns uh, all the data associated with ID two and it has a new name, Rebecca. So let's see if that was reflected in the database. After refreshing, number two is now Rebecca. So once again, pretty easy. Flask Restless takes care of everything for us. And all we have to do is add this one extra method in here. So back to Postman. And if you have more columns, of course, it would be more key value pair. So like um, key two, and then you have value two and so on. But I only have one useful column in the table that I'm working with, so I can't demonstrate anything more complicated. The other thing I want to show you is what happens if you try to put or patch uh, invalid columns. So this table only has an ID and a name column. So let's see what happens if I try to update the age column. Let's say Rebecca is 20, 23 years old. So if I send this, I should get some kind of error back. And let's see what I get. <clears throat> so I get a 400, which is a bad request. And it has uh, a JSON object as a response telling me that the model does not have field age because I can only update what is in my model. And in this case, I only have ID name and pets. So that's all I want to show you for this video. Uh, it's very straightforward. In the next video, I'll show you something a little more complicated. It's searching um, using queries and Git requests. So instead of referencing a particular ID of something in your table, you can just search for all the rows in your table that match some search query. And Flask Restless, once again, will handle most of the hard work for you. So the only thing you have to do is set it up in the list of methods and provide the correct JSON object while calling the Git request. So I'll talk about that in the next video. Now, see you then. Thanks for watching.